Folks, I'm here with the champions, well, two of the big parts of the championship team. Fall 2016, the Astros have won the championship. They've knocked off Griff's 7-6. Two one-run games, 3-2 uh, on a walk-off for them and 7-6 today. Uh, first off, I want to get with the pitcher, Nick Thorkinson. Nicky, you pitched last week, kept him in the game. Obviously, you had, you had your, no offense, you had your better stuff last week. 3-2, you didn't have your best stuff today, but you battled through us in tough times. They put some tough and fast here. Tell me what was going through your mind. They end up, they tied the game 6-6, and you seem to just thrive off that, and you much more down the rest of the way. Tell me what was thinking after that triple. Uh, just got to go for the next pitch. You know, you got to go back out there. You got to battle with them. Come out on top. Shut them up when you play. Well, you know what? I, you, you pitched a gem against my team this year. Thank you very much. But one of the better pitchers in the league, Nicky. Good job today. I'm also here with Jimmy Guerrero, who got the game winning RBI, put the Astros ahead 7-6. Jimmy, you've you've just grinded out a lot of good at bats. So you're one of the better hitters in this pitch selection. Uh, tell me what's going through your mind on that at bat to give your team. You saw the infield was drawn in for Griffs. What was going through your mind there? What you have to do? Yeah, I was just going up there looking for a strike to put in play. Now, that's my approach. I just look for a pitch, put in play. What is this guy speaking for you guys? And again, another first-year team shows you how good the competition, how many good teams want to come into this league. That's again three years in a row now. You're not counting the first year of the league where a first-year team has won the championship. Uh, that, 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 that's got to be a, an amazing thing for you. I know you guys. I follow you throughout the Sunday morning league. I play you guys over at South Shore. You guys have had a tremendous history. What does this one winning here at Mid Island feel like to you guys? It means a lot, man. It means a lot, especially against a team like Griffs. You know, they, you gotta, you gotta put up or you gotta shut up, and that's just the way it goes. Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it feels great. It's, you know, we're, a lot of us are like brothers on this team, so uh, we're real close friends, and uh, and it, it shows when we play with each other. So. Now it's no shade of November, so I'm gonna try and grow out something like you. I'm kind of envious of Jimmy here, <laughs> folks. Jimmy Guerrero, Nicky Thorkinson of the champion Astros. Uh, you can have the highlights from game one and two will be up on our YouTube channel on Mid Island. Thank you so much uh, for following us here in Fall Ball. That's it, and we'll see you in 2017. That's a wrap on a very successful Mid Island men's season. Folks, I'm here with uh, a couple of heroes from game number one. We spoke to the heroes from game number two for the Astros. Here with a couple of heroes from game number one. Uh, just to start, your team was down 2 0 in the sixth inning. And, uh, you know, you guys, the bats were awoken at the Blue Jays. Of course they were. Uh, and you guys were sitting there, shut out, 2 0 through six innings. And then you come up, you hit that home run. What's going through your mind right there? Uh, well, you know, I was just happy that uh, my brother was able to get on base. And uh, I was going up there swinging. I wasn't going to get cheated. And uh, unfortunately, I got a pitch to hit. You know, when you kept this Astro team alive down by Tio Tine, that was great. That was a hell of a shot, Justin. Thank you. By you all to bring in Tommy Kane. Award-winning line drive academy. Uh, Tommy, you walk off. You got the game-winning hit in game number one. Uh, tell me what was going through your mind. You've had a lot of big at-bats against some big-time pitchers we know over the years. What was going through your mind in that situation? Uh, I mean, any at-bat is important. Uh, I knew I had a few bats early in the game. I knew it was going really well. So uh, I knew I was going to get a big one at the end. What, what, was there a certain pitch that you were specifically looking for in that at bat? Uh, I mean, first and second, doesn't want to get the bases lower. It had to come with some uh, fastball or something like that, a uh, straight pitch, and uh, I got one, and I happened to get a hit. Well, Tommy, thank you so much. It was a big part. Thanks, walking off of them, that was huge. Uh, folks, we're going to try and get maybe some more. Maybe. We'll try that. Next. <laughs> I'm here with Astros coach Rich Garino, uh, who's actually giving me a, a listen on Spanish lingo over here. Um, Astros win the championship, 3-2 uh, winners in game one, 7-6 winners here in game two. Uh, you lost one game uh, all year, well, uh, two games all year to cap the playoffs, uh, but a successful, successful season. Uh, what was going through your mind? This game, you knew you were going to be able to have Thorgerson come back. Uh, what were you expecting in this game to win the game? Well, the main thing is good defense, you know, timely hitting, and great pitching from Nicky. Nicky did a hell of a job. You know, he had that one year inning uh, where 
it seems like the strike zone changed a little bit for both teams, so it's consistent by the umpire. But um, he came back, and he came back even more dominant than he was in the beginning of the game. Or even in the first game. How were you guys able to chase him? He's been such a good pitcher, such a good big game pitcher. How are you guys able to do that? Honestly, I, I think he took himself out of the game. Because what happened was a couple of plays by yeah. Carlos to them, a couple of errors, and he blew up. And the main thing was, you know, we had to rattle him to get him out of the game. He walked a couple of batters, you know, little doublers, you know, they didn't make the plays. But we knew that it was going to be a game the rest of the way, even though we were up 6-2 at that point. You didn't think it was over then? No, no not at all. I thought it was going to come down to the seventh game, just like it did in the first game. What? Yeah. Now, you've been around a long time, you've been in a lot of leagues across Staten Island. Uh, I know you're a fixture on Sunday morning. What does winning a year at Ben Island mean to you? For, you know, let me go back to the beginning of everything, okay? After we lost to the Astros in the PM in the playoffs, Jimmy and I sat down and we were talking and we said, you know, you got good pitching. We got, you know, besides fielding and everything else, we have good hitting. And good field, such as JC at short, you know, Justin at first base, the audience at the field, Brian in the outfield, you know, even Joey Gabriel, he could make it today. And, that. and we said, you know what, why don't we put our teams together? And adding Tom Kane to the mix, I thought. I think, that was the, I think that was the last piece that you that was needed the last to piece, go over. Yeah. That was the last piece that put us you know, over the top. And but before the season started, you know, <laughs> you know, we had 16, 18 guys from both teams. And uh, it just took us a little while to, to jump. Okay, even though we were winning games and we were winning games big. You know, when it came down to playing just the first game in the regular season, you know, we gave up six runs in one inning. And at least four of them were in earth. So we had to find the right pieces for the playoffs. And we did. Okay? We moved Jimmy to third base. We moved Justin to first base. You know, the defense. You know, Tommy went behind the plate. And, uh, that's what solidified the team. Well, it was a pleasure coaching against you this year, Richie. Uh, tremendous to have you in the league and part of the Nile family. No, I love and, it. Uh, I, I love it here. If, if I, if I, you know, especially the guy who sponsors my Staten Island Pirates team, Joey Gebbler. He said, if we could play every game here, you know, whatever it costs, he, he would pay. <laughs> you know, well, hopefully we have you part of the Nile so, family for a long time. We're hoping, we're hoping to be in both leagues next year. You know, the spring end of it. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Rich, okay. congrats on the championship. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it. That is an official wrap. Everyone, we'll see you in 2017.